Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 17 looking at some of the new features. One of, I think, the most powerful f new features in version 17 is a tool that will record your screen. You can use it to record tutorials, you can use it to record game demos, whatever, and then the video it produces easily edits right in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. So that's kind of cool. You know, a lot of people use third-party tools to record their screens and then they can't figure out how to edit them. This is an editor and a screen recorder in one. Now there are two ways to get to the screen recorder. One is to go to the project menu and select Vegas Capture from there. The other is to go here to the project media panel and under add media if you click on the little arrow you can choose screen capture even though it has two different names it's essentially the same tool it is exactly the same tool when you select screen capture or vegas capture you get the option screen and the option screen is where you select what you're going to record now you notice by the way that i am showing my entire screen here normally i don't do that i don't let my taskbar show as i'm say recording a tutorial but in this particular case i did because one of the limitations of vegas capture or the screen capture tool is that it will only record your entire screen you can't set it to record a portion of your screen the way you can with some tools like camtasia now i have two monitors connected to my screen one of them as you can see is showing a photo shop project I'm working on editing this photo of my dad the other one has right now Vegas and Vegas capture in it I'm going to select only that monitor the one here that has Vegas on it right now or Vegas movie studio on it right now as all I'm going to capture so that's what I'm going to select as my video source and then for audio sources I can select the speakers and the speakers are going to give me whatever audio is recorded from the computer, from the program, from whatever it is that I'm recording. As well as the second set of speakers, which is actually USB device. That's my microphone. Right now I'm recording my tutorial into it. I'm going to select the option to record my microphone also. Once you've got everything selected, you just come down here and click on the red button. And once things are running, you can go to whatever it is you want to record. So I'm going to go over here to my web browser. And here you can see my page at YouTube where I've got all my tutorials. I could play one of these tutorials. You would hear it and I could comment on it with my microphone in real time. When I'm ready to end my recording, I go back down here to the taskbar, bring up Vegas Capture and click Stop. I then can choose to either save the captured file and deal with it later or port it over to Vegas Movie Studio for editing. I'm going to do a little bit of both. So let's save the file and I'm just going to call it YouTube. And then I'm also going to select send it to Vegas or Vegas Movie Studio for editing. Click on that. Go over here to Vegas, and here is my recording. It's already on my timeline, in fact. This is the recording we made, and we can now edit it. So if it's my tutorial, my game demo, or whatever, and I want only the best moments from it, I can edit it just as if it were a video. This is a very cool tool, a very nice addition here to version 17 of Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. You want to know more about this program, both the new features and the old? Check out the tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about everything, <laughs> check out the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the one for DVD Architect. They're both available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Hope to see you soon.